It's one of my favorite drills you can use as a hitter because you can use it at any place, any time. As you see right now, I'm in my backyard. Um, I just got you know 50 swings in, um, and that's what I like because you can get immediate feedback using it. It tells you if you're casting your hands, getting long, or dropping your hands. You know, so as a hitter, you want to create that most efficient path going through the zone. Um, you know, because you got guys throwing 90, you got stuff that's curving, sinking, uh, cutters breaking in, two or cutters breaking away, two seamers coming in, sliders that look like fastballs, like all kinds of stuff. And if you don't have the most efficient swing through the zone and in the zone at a long time, it's going to be really hard to hit the higher levels you go up. And so that's why I love the swing rail because it's a simple drill that you can use at any time, any place. I've used it for about eight months now. Anyway, so all you got to do is get it set up. Make sure you line your hands up. So wherever you swing, if you choke up, choke up. If you're over the knob, go over the knob. Just line up where your hands are. And then you're gonna put the little stick thing that I call it, just right there above your hands. And then wrap the Velcro around it, make sure it's tight. And you're ready to go. So then you take the strap, and you may need to adjust it if you need to, need to, so you just pull it through, re-loop it, but you can adjust the strap. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure this is far enough that it has tension when it goes over the stick. You don't want it to be loose like this because then as soon as you swing, it's just going to slide right off. So you want it to have a little bit of tension. Make sure the loop is looped over. And then all you got to do is just slide it up your arm and you're ready to go. So now you're looped on, you're ready to go. And it's this simple. So you can get your open space, get your bat. It's time to work on your, on your swing. <sighs> There we go, there's one. So I know that was a perfect swing because it just slid right off. This is why I recommend a swing rail. If you're a hitter, young, old, doesn't matter what level and you wanna get better, you wanna have a more consistent swing, this is where it starts. This is where having mechanically being consistent is. Obviously, obviously there's more to hitting, um, you know, the mental game, having an approach at the plate, swinging at right pitches, all that kind of stuff. But you still have to be mechanically um, you know, in sync to be able to hit. Um, and this is one of the things that'll get you there.